So, Beacon, is there anything interesting happening in numismatics next month? Uh, absolutely, Charles. Uh, we'll be selling part three from the from the Poe collection, the Vibrant Poe collection of, of masterpieces of U.S. coinage. Uh, this is the third in, in a series of five sales, which which will conclude this year, 2016. Um, it's going to be an exciting event. Uh, the main auction that will take place in Sotheby's uh, main auction gallery in New York, in the, on the Upper East Side. Uh, it'll be it'll be preceded by lot exhibitions in, in our California offices from from the 18th to the 28th of this month, January. Uh, continuing in our in our New York gallery from the 1st through the 5th of February, uh, and then. Uh, the finale of the exhibition and leading up to the auction is the 6th through the 9th at Sotheby's Auction Gallery. And, and what's the level of enthusiasm been for these coins for collectors? Uh, it's been it's been tremendous. I mean, we've had uh, people come by and just say, "Wow, congratulations for 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 landing this amazing collection. It must be so fun to work with it." And and for, from the buyers, are just so glad to have access to these coins. Some of which, some some of which have been off the market for 40 years or more in some cases. So these are uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunities for some of these coins. Absolutely. After talking with Vicken, Stax Bowers provided CoinWeek viewers the opportunity to have a special lot viewing of a number of the key pieces in Pogue 3. Here are some of my favorites. We start with lot 3007, a 1795 plain edge no pole, half cent in MS66 plus brown. This piece was struck over a Talbot Alum and Lee scent you can see traces of the undertype, especially at the 5 o'clock position on the obverse. This is a POP1 coin with one graded higher by PCGS, but what an exceptional example. Presale estimate is between $100,000 and $150,000. Lot 3008 is a 1796 half cent and MS67 red brown. Like the 95, this is a museum quality piece and one that was once part of the Eliasburg collection. Only 26 specimens are known from this die pairing. The Peleus cap is sans pole, and a large die crack dissects the obverse. Next is another 1796 half cent. This is the with pole variety that was once part of the Mr. 1796 John Whitney Walter collection. In total, fewer than 75 examples are known of this 18th century rarity. A hint of red persists on this lustrous piece. Estimated price? Half a million to seven hundred thousand dollars. Turning our attention to the cents is this 1793 chain scent. America, no periods variety. Perhaps half the chain scents produced were of this die marriage. But that takes nothing away from this example, which quite possibly may be the finest chain scent of any variety in existence. From the collection of John Work Garrett. Lot 3015 is a jaw-dropping MS67 Red Brown 1793 wreath scent of the Vine and Bars type. Del Bland has this in a two-way tie for the finest in his census. It's easy to see why. Hints of original red remain, and die cracks on the reverse only add to the intrigue. The obverse is virtually flawless. Sax Bowers estimates a hammer price between $400,000 and $500,000. Let's skip ahead to the gold. Gold has been exceptionally strong in Pogue 1 and 2, and $3 gold makes an appearance fittingly in Pogue 3. We looked at two legendary rarities, the 1873 Open 3, finest known of 12 to 20 surviving examples, and the 1875 Improved 65 Plus Decam. Great contrast in this example, 1875 was a proof only issue, and the final mintage is not known with any certainty. Mint says 20, but a few more are believed to be known. We'll have to wait a little longer to see the 1822 $5 hit the market, but it would be a mistake to overlook these $5 gold coins. Especially lot 3146. Words fail to accurately describe the present piece. Its state of preservation is remarkable. In hand, the coin is superior to most gold coins struck 100 years later. The obverse is hammered. While some localized softness does exist on the reverse, overall the coin is quite strong. Since it was last offered, it has earned PCGS's plus designation, something it always had in the eyes of those who coveted it. And it's hard to imagine that lot 3149 will not blow past the $1 million high-end presale estimate. The two cornerstone $5 gold pieces in Pogue are the 1822 5 and this, the 1815. PCGS graded the coin MS65 
It's the finest, and this is a true gem with full luster, and it's an amazing rarity, only six in private hands. We can't wait to see these coins go up for auction. Coin Week will be on hand to film the proceedings, and we'll bring our exclusive coverage to you. Well, good luck, Vic, and we look forward to seeing you in New York. Good luck with the folks out. Thanks so much. Thanks.